right, right. Oof. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing on this um beautiful, beautiful Saturday, March 14th day? So let me situate this camera. This video is so, so long overdue. It's just like I was supposed to film this back in January. Y'all, it's been crazy. Like, like in the midst of all this drama, I hope y'all are staying safe. You know, staying prayed up, staying blessed, remaining confident in the fact that God got you. But anyways, today I want to share my college application essays with you that got me into, that helped, assisted me in getting into the University of Michigan's College of Engineering. So let me pull these bad boys up. I was actually so surprised to figure out that I still had these. But um, yeah, they're here. College app essays. Yep. They were saved under my cloud, so thank God for the cloud. I actually have the essays that got me into University of Michigan, Michigan State University, and Howard University. So I'm gonna read you um, most most of my essays, if not all of them, um, that got me into those schools. Okay, so the first essay I'm going to be reading is for Michigan State University. And the prompt is as follows. Michigan State University recognizes that an assortment of interests, viewpoints, and life experiences are important in student learning and enhance the university community. Describe an experience, passion, or characteristic that illustrates what you would contribute to the MSU community and how this will add to the overall richness of campus life. If there's anything you should know about me, it is that I am that someone. I am that one person you can talk to, who you can come to for guidance and inspiration. Have a goal, together we can reach it. I can be a confidant, a friend, or an, even a counselor. Truth be told, I'm a peer mentor. My goal is to change the world one relationship at a time. Continuing to be the person someone looks up to while steering them in the right direction can help build legacies and create a better world for generations to come. Mentoring is one of my deepest passions, and to be able to share it with the MSU community would bring about opportunity and success throughout the campus as a whole. Through mentorship, students are given an outlet to further their interests and passions, and they have access to various opportunities while also learning more about themselves and others through networking. Also, mentors strive to help their mentees believe in themselves and go for things they thought were far out of their reach. Adding these important attributes to MSU would contribute greatly in the richness and uniqueness of the campus. Each one, reach one. Each one, teach one, until all are taught, is a quote that oftentimes applies to mentorship. The work of a mentor does not affect just one person, but thousands of people. It is an act that is paid for it and never stops. Mentoring does not stay in one place. It is passed down from person to person, impacting each life in various ways. A mentor can be anyone, including those of MSU's campus. To know that I can impact the person's life in a matter of a few words only inspires me to keep doing what I love. At the end of the day, I want to leave the world better than the way I found it, and if that means having the opportunity of taking the first step to change the world through Michigan State's campus, then I would be honored to one day say, I am proud to be a Michigan State's <laughs> a Michigan. <clears throat> I am proud to be a Michigan State's <clears throat> I'm not even going. <clears throat> I'm not even, I'm not even going to say it. Mm -mm. My sister and my best friend go there, but that's the only affiliation that I have with Michigan State University, period. <sighs> On to the next. Okay, so Howard. Um, let me let me see if I finished writing this. Yeah, so I never finished that Howard one. I think I finished it, but it's not on this document. But I have a good three paragraphs of part of the essay that I submitted. So I'm going to read what I have. But here's the prompt. Core values define the norms and belief system that are utilized to implement university's vision. Our core values are excellence, leadership, truth, and service. Please describe how you can contribute to the vision and legacy of Howard University through our core values. Growing up, the importance of having great morals as well as sound values was stressed heavily in my household. I was always taught to keep my head as well as my standards high and that without core values, a person is without a foundation. The core values that make up the Howard legacy are founding factors in my life. I do my best on a daily basis to represent excellence, leadership, truth, and service. Representing these core values while being able to call myself a Howard Bison would be an absolute honor of the highest degree and more. Hmm. Various definitions describe the word excellence, but when it comes down to it, the word is solely based on being your best self. I represent excellence in more ways than one, being that I'm a part of various organizations in my school community, along with being involved in a wide range of volunteer service events in my community. I strive to achieve academic excellence as well, maintaining my positions in National Honor Society and National Society of High School Scholars. I intend to remain involved in these activities as I enter into college and feel as though I can contribute these things to the Howard campus for years to come. 
At Howard, I can contribute excellence by staying heavily involved around campus, maintaining a well-rounded level of academic excellence, along with striving to succeed both inside and outside of the classroom, constantly working to be my best self yet. Leadership, on the other hand, is often defined as the ability to lead, but to me it has a much deeper meaning than what meets the eye. Leadership has been a major part of my life for as long as I can remember. I've taken every opportunity possible to enhance my leadership abilities and take my skills to the next level, including leadership and peer mentorship classes. I feel as though I can contribute many attributes I have in leadership to the HU community by building influence and awareness of Howard's great legacy, learning from others, and most important of all, making things happen. I bring to the table skills of determination, persistence, and motivation which will help me contribute to the Howard University legacy. The value of truth is one of the most important foundations there is. Without truth, there is nothing to back, and then that's the end of that essay. But it sounded like a decent essay, so. So the first prompt was, if you could do one of the activities you have listed in the activities section of your common application, which one would you keep doing and why? If there's anything you should know about me, it is that I'm that someone. I'm that one person you could talk to who you can come to for guidance and inspiration. Have a goal, together we can reach it. I can be a confidant, a friend, or even a counselor. Truth be told, I'm a peer mentor. My goal is to change the world one relationship at a time. Continuing to be the person someone looks up to while steering them in the right direction can help build legacies and create a better world for generations to come. As y'all probably heard in that essay, I repeat, I, I recycle my essays. Like during my college application process, I y'all probably know if y'all are going through the process right now or if y'all have been through the process you recycle a lot of the same essays and the university of michigan was actually the first application that i submitted so i actually ended up using reusing a lot of what i put in here so you guys are going to hear a lot of the same things that i said a little bit ago in my howard and michigan state essays my next essay is discussion accomplishment or event formal or informal that marked your transition from childhood to adulthood within your culture community or family so this one was a little personal and I don't think I'm going to read this one or I don't think I'm going to share it on camera, but it was um, a situation within my family that caused me to uh, grow up rather quickly. Yeah, it's quite personal to me. My best tips for you all is to really make the admissions, um, really make the people in admissions feel you in this essay. Like if you can reach back to any moment in your life or in within your family, within your community, that you know kind of made you grow up and kind of, kind of like uh, helped shape and develop you into the person that you are today make sure that you you really speak heavily on that or speak heavily to that in this essay because this is the time to describe you know possibly any struggles that you've been through any adversity that you face um, that has helped you become a better person as a result but I can share like the last paragraph of this so my last paragraph of this prompt is I truly understand now what it means when stated, God gives his toughest battles to his strongest soldiers. At that moment in time, I was called to the front line to fulfill an assignment only he could assign. In the end, the task only made me a stronger individual and it taught me the importance of independence, perseverance, and selflessness. So basically iterating on um, what, what you learned from that experience, how you went about uh, handling that experience, conquering that, and becoming a better person overall. And just make sure that you're just being as real as possible, being as authentic. Don't don't hide anything, right? That's my best tip. Just be yourself throughout all of these essays, but this one most importantly. Essay one was, everyone belongs to many different communities and or groups defined by shared geography, religion, ethnicity, income, cuisine, interests, race, ideology, or intellectual heritage. Choose one of the communities to which you belong and describe that community and your place within it. And I chose basketball. So this is my essay. And you might see some correlation between um, Kobe's Deer Basketball and my, um, in the essay I'm about to read, I got a lot of inspiration from that poem or from that film uh, by Kobe. So here it is to basketball, the sport that has my heart. At a young age, I committed myself to you. Each time I stepped onto the court, I vowed to give you every ounce of my being before the final buzzer rang out. Raw hustle and hunger were all you asked of me, but I gave you my heart and more. You've been a major part of my life for as long as I can remember, from serving as a stress reliever on the toughest days to giving me lifelong memories and friends. You never fail to, you never fail to make me feel as though I truly have a place in this world when I'm with you. Honestly, all I can say is thank you for everything. I can only be grateful for the long, tiring nights in the gym with my team, so that is where team became family. 
I have never known a love quite like this. A love that runs so deep, no wall set or suicide can shake it. As a point guard, my feelings for you only amplify. I'm not the fastest, nor am I the tallest, but regardless of my flaws, you gave me a voice. A voice loud enough to lead. A voice that could not be taken away. Knowing I was able to accomplish everything I set out to as a freshman, I am able to hang my jersey up, place my ball to the side, and walk away in the direction of my dreams, knowing I left it all on the court. Love always, Corey. Essay 2. Describe the unique qualities that attract you to the specific undergraduate college or school to which you're applying to at the University of Michigan. How would that curriculum support your interests? They will start doing this when I choose to film a video. Hold on. I'll be right back. Okay, so this, this man wanna, he wanna turn his music up to the lightest degree. So I'm gonna hurry up and film this so that y'all can hear me. I hope y'all can hear me. I'm just gonna read through this and hope, hope for the best, honestly. Okay, growing up, my mom always strived to keep my siblings and me active, whether that meant signing us up for every sport year round or sending us to summer long programs. Anything to help us find what we were passionate about, she took advantage of the opportunity. This was one of those times. You're gonna miss the bus, she yelled from the bottom of the steps. With little knowledge of where I was going or what bus I was going to miss, I hopped out of bed in a frenzy and rushed to get ready. I signed you up for DAPSAP. It's an engineering program. You will love it, my mom yelled out as she scurried behind me out of the house. Little did I know she was right. Every Saturday morning, I was on that amazing blue bus headed to Ann Arbor to further passion I hadn't even known had begun to grow within me. It was there, sitting in a classroom at 1221 Bill Avenue, where I first discovered my passion for engineering. I never walked out of a camp with the same knowledge I had come in with. The engineering department was constantly working with me, taking the information I had already known, teaching me to think in a solution-oriented and creative ways. Michigan never failed to present me with the challenge, and it helped me expand my ways of thinking and gain positive insight on engineering as a whole. Having the opportunity to work alongside U of M bred engineers only made me hungry for the U of M College of Engineering experience. Throughout the process, as my love for engineering deepened, I made a promise to myself. I promised that one day I would be that engineer, mentoring kids like me to love Michigan engineering as much as I did at such a young age. The University of Michigan's strong educational athletic reputation paired with its diverse campus serves as enough to make any person fall in love with their school. Furthermore, experiencing what Michigan has to offer through its College of Engineering has been nothing less of a remarkable experience. With various top-ranked engineering departments, ranging from mechanical to nuclear engineering, I feel as though the University of Michigan will assist me properly as I prepare to make a difference in the world as Wolverine engineers before me have done. Witnessing all the ground U of M's engineering department has covered throughout the years makes me want to be a part of that progress. From breakthrough research to major college initiatives, having the opportunity to be part of all those groundbreaking discoveries and to be able to witness them firsthand would truly be the highest honor. One day, I would love to be able to say, I am proud to be a Michigan Wolverine. Mm -mm -mm. Well, that pretty much wraps up all of my college application essays um, that I have currently on hand. Um, basically, all the other schools that I applied to, they were either on-site admissions where I did not have to write essays, or I just reused my essays from Michigan. So literally all the essays that I wrote for Michigan were reused for future um, applications to other schools. But um, yeah, that pretty much concludes this video. Yeah, if you guys have any questions about my essays, just let me know down in the comments or you can shoot me a DM on Instagram and I'll be sure to get back to you. Now, um, Instagram is weird in the fact that it sometimes hides some of you guys' DMs. So if it seems like I'm not responding to you or if I haven't responded to you for a long time, it's because your DM is hidden. So just sit, put a comment down below and I always see my comments unless they're like spam. But Y'all comments should not be spam, so just put them down below, and I'll be sure to get back to you when I have a chance. Um, yeah, um, thank you guys for tuning in so much. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.